he's kind of taking charge and um, he's a big leader for us and, and a good example. So it's, it's nice when he takes charge and, um, and you know dominates the game and, and changes the momentum for us. He's always get over what's popping to you during this, in, this I mean, Yeah, if you're that young, then probably. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty impressive to see, um, you know, his goal scoring ability and um, just how he's able to beat goalies in different different ways. You know, I don't think, um, you know, he's, he's he was at the net yesterday and um, you know in the paint, and it's uh, it's pretty cool to see that he can score from all areas. I think their speed, um, you know, obviously in their power play. I think their special teams is. Uh, you know, uh, is dominant, and uh, you know I think we're going to have to kind of stay out of the box and um, not give him too many chances on special teams. Well, in particular, Kucherov, what's the biggest challenge against him right now? Yeah, I think just uh, not giving him too much time and space with the puck. You know, his his ability to make plays is, is pretty incredible. So we just got to um, you know make sure we're closing on him and, and not give him too much space. And for your line, what's the key uh, for you guys after an up and down game, getting on the board a couple times, but the third period obviously. What are you focused on? Today? I think playing a full 60 minutes, um, being sound defensively, um, structured, play within the systems, and um, you know, I think that's just going to lead to our offense. And I think we're we're doing really good on offense, but I think we got to focus on um, just being structured. What's your anticipation? We didn't know you were going to play. We talked yeah. yesterday. Like, what's your anticipation to get back into today? Yeah, I feel good. Um, you just want to come back and help the team. Try to pick up where you left off. Um, it's not always easy coming back, but uh, you know, it hasn't been that long, so I don't expect any issues. And uh, jumping right back in against a pretty good team, what stands out about the Lightning right now? Yeah, they're a good team. They're deep. Uh, I mean, we know them well, obviously, from the last couple of seasons. Um, so I think we know what to expect in terms of their speed, their skill. They're very competitive. Um, you know, they got a couple of guys that are having outstanding seasons. So, you know, we'll be ready to go tonight. In particular, Kucherov, like, what are you seeing? He's always been amazing. Yeah. Like, what are you seeing right now as the biggest challenge with that? Uh, just his skill and his vision and obviously his his ability to pass the puck and um, you know create opportunities for his teammates, um, but he's not the only one over there. They got lots of guys that are playing well, so you know we'll be ready to go. And um, uh, the team will have our hands full here tonight with a good team. Can you appreciate how consistent the Lightning have been? I mean, every year it almost seems like this is the time of year where they really start to show just how good they can be every year. Yeah, yeah, they're experienced. Uh, they're deep. Um, and then, I mean, if you combine that with their high-end skill, I mean, they're very dangerous. So, um, again, I think we know what to expect just having played them, um, you know, over the years, you know, playoff series and whatnot. Um, so, I mean, we'll have our hands full. But um, as a team, we want to be ready here tonight and um, uh, keep this little stretch going, uh, you know, next couple of weeks. Boston uh, sets a career high uh, for him. I mean, he's always been amazing. What ways yeah. have you seen him elevate? Like, in what ways do you think he might be even better player right now? Um, I think for him, it's all about being well-rounded. Um, you know, he's not just a, a goal scorer. He plays a very important role for our team. Um, he takes care of his own end. Um, so, you know, for him, I think that, uh, you know, he's always uh, trying to get better and, um, you know, trying to improve his game. So uh, as his teammates, it's been it's been nice to watch. He just wants to support him, try to help him out. And, um, you know, when he's doing his thing, it's, it's, it's nice to watch. Morgan, what makes Brady's point so effective uh, I think lots of things, speed, skill, vision, um, you know, he plays on a good line. Um, he's obviously, you know, been a main driver for that team for a couple of years now, and um, uh, he's extremely competitive. Um, he's a great player. What, uh, what have you liked from watching like, the penalty kill here late? Yeah, it's been good. I think there's been more urgency, more speed, more skating. Uh, I think just trying to take away time and space. Um, it's been very good. What uh, is the biggest challenge you see uh, with Tampa Bay tonight? I mean, it's it's a good team, right? They they they, they it's a well balanced team. A lot of veterans. Uh, there are a lot of skills too. So I think for us, it's just uh, focusing on ourselves. You know, like we know we can play against those guys when we're tied together, and from there, just focusing on our game, make sure we're hard to play against, and that's it. What do you have to be aware of against Kucherov when you're out there with him tonight? Well, he's a great player. His his skill set is is. Is incredible. So we just have to be uh, careful when, he, when he's on the ice. He's always looking for that uh, those passes, right? So uh, just uh, containing him and being hard on him. What's the key for the penalty kill tonight if you guys get in a short-handed situation? Same thing. Just uh, just being hard, being uh, you know playing in our system, and uh, just try to give them as uh, less chance as possible. What has changed on the penalty kill this last week or so? I mean, we, we went over it, uh, we talked about it as a team, and we just uh, tuned up some stuff. 
obviously I wasn't going to say it uh, uh, on camera, but uh, no, I think we just we're just clicking right now, and we just have to build on the positive uh, positive things. What stands out about what Austin's doing down the stretch here? Already 62 goals. It's incredible. He's a great player. He's a great teammate to be around. Uh, I'll uh, I'll be I'll be feeding him as many passes as I can. You know, <laughs> I don't need extra goals. <laughs> sense that guys are pumped for him like it's exciting like a lot of guys have said they want to see him get to 70. Yeah obviously it's not something that you see uh, quite often right so if he's able to achieve uh, achieve that it's going to be incredible. What does it mean to get Morgan back tonight? Pretty excited you know he for sure he's been out for a bit uh, you know he he was trying to get in as soon as possible and now he's he's ready to go tonight so I'm pretty pumped for him. Uh, they've talked about a defense by committee here <clears throat> Excuse me. What do you like about that? How it can kind of three pairs can roll. Everyone's involved. No, no. It's it, when everyone is involved, keeps everyone in the game. You know, it's it, and we're harder to play against. Everybody has extra juice. Everybody is uh, hungry. You know, so if you can roll that way and keep uh, just uh, crushing the other lines on the other side, that's it. Just keeping going. We saw you before the game yesterday doing a bit of a routine there where you were bouncing back and forth. Where did that come from? Ah, uh, that's that stays in that little room there. You got it out, but uh, it just stays in that little room. So, what stands out about the Lightning and the challenge tonight? Uh, definitely a lot of pace, a lot of skill. Uh, definitely that top six line. They they play a very talented group, uh, as well as their bottom six, very direct but very hard to play against. So, I think we just got to manage that and and uh, play the, play three full periods and uh, hopefully get the win and clinch the playoffs as well. Yeah, is that yeah. on your mind at all that you guys can can get that done tonight? Yeah, I think it, it, it's good to hear, good to see. I honestly didn't even know like what the situation. I knew we would be in a spot to clinch soon, but uh, to hear it tonight against Tampa and be a home game, it's it's uh, definitely our mind to get the win and, and get it over with to be clinched. So that was like part of the meeting this morning. Yeah, I, just a reminder that this is a chance to clinch playoffs, and and uh, you start seeing the standings, the X next to the teams, and you gotta get jealous. So I want I want an X next to our team, so we can be happy with that. In particular with Kucherov. What do you have to be aware of? Just his, I mean, he's, I think we just got to be hard on him, not give him time and space. He definitely can create something out of nothing. So uh, we can't take it easy on him. And we have to kind of close space and get physical on guys like that. You know, he can make plays as well as Point and Stamkos and, you know, Hagel, Sorelli. They got to declare, they got a bunch of guys that can make plays. So we just got to be hard on him. You mentioned after the game uh, the other night that you want to see Austin get 70, and a lot of guys yeah. have said that just unprompted. Like, how yeah. much is that fueling the group, what Austin is doing down the stretch here? Oh, it's it's amazing. I think his goal scoring ability is, I think, nothing we've seen ever, like, recently. Obviously, we had great goal scorers in the league, but for him to hit 60 twice and potentially 70, it's pretty remarkable. And, um, you know, we're definitely cheering. I definitely know the guys are, are looking for him out there. So, uh, uh, hope we can, hopefully, we can do it. You've seen him over a number of years. Yeah. Like, in what ways is he elevated? In which ways is he a better even goal scorer now? Um, I guess that's you have to ask. I don't even like he's. Oh, I feel like he's just automatic. I think maybe just over time is you get even more confident. Even I don't know how. You know, even three years ago, I think you know maybe. I think it's just confidence. So over the years, you get more confident. You get more comfortable, I guess. But he's just ever since his. You know, skate such the ice in this league. We're doing pretty amazing things. So uh, I guess that's a question for him. But I know that uh, I'm really hoping to get 70. What's it mean to the group to get Morgan back tonight? Oh, it's great. You know, it's unfortunate that he was out. Um, you know, with his thing that he's got there. But uh, you know, he brings, you know, his leadership, his veteran-like presence, his skill. You know, we're happy to have him back in the lineup. And and uh, yeah, it's good to have him. What's the focus for the kid line tonight? <laughs> up and, a bit of an up and down game the other night. Yeah, yeah. It was up in the three periods, and the third, it was kind of just. Reversed. Um, I think just, just again being sticking to our strength, our speed, and me and my shot, and just using simplifying our game. And uh, I think just being in the right spots and being detailed in D zone. And, um, I think it could translate offensively. I think we've been pretty good offensively lately. We just want to get the momentum there and, and clean up a few things in the D zone. Sheldon, a lot of the players have spoken about how excited they are for Austin, what he's doing, pushing him towards 70. I'm curious how much you feel like that might fuel the group down the stretch here, and if there's a balance there about. Looking, looking for him too much. Yeah, I think there's some uh, excitement there uh, for Austin. It's the type of year that he's had, but I, I don't, I don't think it's uh, overdone or anything like that. I don't get the the feeling of that. I mean, you can see guys looking for him on the ice, but it's you know, generally it's not a bad idea to look for him. Um, you know, so there's, yeah, you, you gotta you gotta recognize that's gonna be part of the deal. Um, but you don't want to, you don't want obviously change your game or, or, or change the focus, you know, and that's not the focus for me. And I've talked to Austin, it's not the focus for him. 
you know, he, he wants to finish the season strong. He wants to be feeling good. He wants to be, um, you know, wants, wants to have energy, you know, through this last stretch and going into the playoffs. And, and, and that's, I guess, really the goal for our team, you know, is to have our game in order and, and be as healthy and rested as possible as we finish this last push. Is there a fine line between him wanting to get to 70 goals and maybe everybody wanting him to get to 70 goals and maybe getting him the rest he might need for, for being ready for playoffs? Yeah, there is, for sure. I mean, we'll, we'll walk that out of either. I'm not concerned about 70 goals at, at all. You know, I, I'm, I'm concerned about having, having him and our team in, uh, in, uh, ready to go for, for playoffs. And, and, you know, he's like we saw the other night, he's, you know, he gets two last game, and, and those are two, two important goals for us in the game. You know, he's going to contribute that way, and that's what he's done all season for us. He's an important part of our team. But that's, that is not our, fo- not our focus, not my focus at all. We see it in the NFL more often than any other league, but players get rested down the stretch to make sure they're available for the playoffs. Is that something you think? Well, I think if you just look at how we've handled it the last couple of years, you know, um, we'll, we'll talk about that. This is a little bit different here right now. Like we've got, we've we've we haven't been able to play with our group uh, very much here with the injuries that we've had. Five players being out and. They're going to start to trickle back into our lineup. I think having our group in order is is uh, important, and the more reps we can get with our power play intact uh, is going to be a priority for us too. So we'll manage all of that. But Austin's minutes have been, I think, in a really good place, um, and that's important for me. I'm, I'm monitoring that. So it's it's a balance of rest, but also staying sharp, um, you know, and uh, and keeping guys in in game mode. You know that that's you know that's really important too because. As you know, playoffs are hard and difficult, and emotions are high, and all of that. And you don't want to, you know, don't want to slip too far the other way with having to climb your way back out of that. What have you seen from Nick Robertson in this stretch here, where he's been in the lineup regularly? Uh, I think he's just continued what he's done for us most of the season. You know, is he's, he's given us everything he has in every shift. He's working very hard. He's he's competing. Uh, he's scoring when he gets his opportunities. I think he's recognizing the opportunities are harder to come by, but when he's gotten them, he's he's made made good on them. You know, I think you yeah, just look at the last two goals that he scored. It's you know he's he's scored goals at uh, uh, really it's a you know kind of his only scoring chance of the of the game, and and they go in, and that's what he that's the ability that he has. Uh, so that's. That's great to see, and it's a great contributor to our team. Uh, but there's, I guess, you know, there's there's a lot more that goes into it, right? Shift to shift, play to play. You got to be good. You got to be able to carry play. Uh, you got to be able to be relied upon, uh, and you got to be, be able to find your way through um, through the rest of the depth chart. You know, there's a lot of guys on our team, and you know, we'll make decisions as we go. We'll see where our lineups at. We'll see where our health is at. The good news is that. Uh, Nick and I guess I would put in all our young players into that, you know, category. You know, we've you know, McMahon's not as young, but he's certainly inexperienced. And you know, we we look at it. Our teams, you know, has has hopes to compete for the Stanley Cup. We've got four first year forwards uh, that have played on our lineup quite a bit this year. I don't think many teams would have that being the case. And these guys have grown a lot within our team, and that's been the real positive as they've taken steps. Nick has taken. A significant step this season. Uh, the first one is that he stayed healthy. Uh, that's a significant step, right? He's he's gotten. I'm not sure exactly where he's at, but it feels like he's gotten more experience out of just this season than he has in any other season he's played uh, in pro hockey. So that in itself is a big development for him. He's finding ways to produce. He's learning the league. He's uh, you know he's moved around our lineup. He's played up. He's played down. He's been out of the lineup and come back in. He's he's learned and dealt with a lot. He's taken a big step. And that's really important, you know, and, and he certainly becomes a good option for us in this playoffs. But perhaps more importantly, he becomes a guy that's going to grow within, within our team uh, in the big, 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 in the big picture. Yeah. Sorry, Sean. You just wrote, wrote Luke's column there. That was a great answer. Uh, <laughs> three points back of Florida with two games in hand. Um, how much does home ice matter as much as it used to maybe in terms of you worry more about your team game being where it needs to be entering the playoffs than versus – whatever seed you'd like to do. Yeah, I think it's more you focus on your team and getting prepared, uh, and you just you know sort of see where the chips fall. And we, we were in this situation last season as well, pretty similar. 
I don't think we saw that as much of a, a anything to look at or aspire to uh, a few weeks ago. It was in, not really even within reach, but, um, you know, it's things have evened out a little bit. Um, I don't think it changes our mindset. Uh, we've been we've been good in both places. We've had home ice in the past, and um, I think uh, it, it's really about you know who's most prepared to play and who can you know who has their game in order when the when the time comes and wherever the games are, are played will be ready. Is there a chance that Edmondson Edmondson can practice Friday? Um, Shall never take work this morning. Or? Uh, I, I think there's potential for that to see how he did today. I think today the moment is third or fourth time on the ice but today first time with our group but he's he's progressing well so it's just a matter of how he handles each uh, each day I don't, I don't see him as an option for saturday though.